Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am currently in my car, as you can tell. I'm on my way to my doctor's appointment for my HSG test. If you guys watched my live pregnancy test video, which obviously was a negative, um, but if you guys watched it, then I mentioned in there that the next step would be to take an HSG test because I was previously on Clomid and Provera and my doctor no longer wanted to prescribe me that and she wanted me to go ahead and get this test done. So for those that don't know what an HSG test is, it's basically checking if um, you have any blockage in your fallopian tube. So I don't think I'll be able to record in there, but um, whatever I can get, I'll try to get. And then after the appointment, I'll explain everything to you. So last night before bed, I took an antibiotic that they prescribed to me. It was just two capsules you take with a meal before bed the night before the test. And then an hour before the test, they want you to take some ibuprofen. So it's currently 11.40 right now. And my appointment is at 1 o'clock, but it's about a 40, 45 minute drive. So I just want to leave a little bit early so I can have time um, in case I get lost. Because I am that girl that gets lost with GPS. But in case I get lost, um, so that way I can find the building and just give me that little bit extra time. So I'll probably take my ibuprofen in about like 20-25 minutes or so I have it with me here and some water and I am scarfing down a tamale because I don't want to take it on an empty stomach so I will get back to you guys after the appointment like I said if I can record anything in there I will but if I can't then I do apologize so and there's all the stuff over there. I am just so nervous right now. I'm just trying to relax as much as I can, but um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys after the procedure. Okay guys, so I'm back home now and I survived. As you guys seen, I was really nervous and I was trying my best to just stay calm, but the little clip I showed you in the room, that's all I was able to get. I was going to put like my phone on record so you guys could hear, but I just wasn't really in the right mind to even think about doing that until like afterwards. But just to break down how everything went. So when I got into the office, I signed some paperwork and like, you know, paid my co-payment and whatnot. And then when they called me back, they took my blood pressure and then had me do a urine sample. And then they took me to the room where the procedure was going to take place. And when I walked in there, it was kind of intimidating because I was like, oh my God, there's this huge machine, which was the x-ray machine. But I was like, there's this huge machine and there's all these tools on this tray. And I was just like, my mind just started racing. And I was, like I said, I was just trying to stay calm and then they had me just undress from the waist down and then put a sheet over me or like a blanket over me. Everybody in the office was so, so sweet. And when the doctor came in, she just talked to me a little bit and asked me some questions about my past with trying to conceive and asked me, um, she asked me about like my cycles and if they're irregular or normal. And I just explained to her how they're irregular and she just tried to talk to me and like make jokes and not like bad jokes but like jokes so like I could like laugh and just relax a little bit and that helped out a lot so she explained everything to me even though I like read about it so many times and I watched as many videos as I could but she just explained the procedure to me and explained that it was going to feel like really intense cramps. And if you are going to get this procedure done, I don't want to scare you, but it is pretty painful. And maybe you have a high pain tolerance and um, don't think so. But for me, I thought it was pretty painful. So they basically, you put your legs up 
basically as if you are getting a pap smear if you are a female you know what i'm talking about so basically like you're getting a pap smear and then they insert the little duck looking thing i do not like those but they insert the duck thingy and then they swab and then that's where she sticks the catheter in and she when she stuck the catheter in um she then like explained that she was going to inject the ink the dye i mean i'm sorry the dye and she did tell me that's when i was going to feel the cramps and i felt it it was just basically like cramps like times 10 my cramps are not really that bad and i feel for anybody who has a very bad cramps because my cramps are not that bad but that was pretty painful and it just felt like so much pressure like my body just went like tight and you know she just kept explaining to me okay almost done almost done and literally you guys it was like less than 10 seconds but it felt like forever but it was literally like 10 seconds and she just would inject the dye and move um like move it around and inject more in like different places and the screen is like on the side and i could have looked but i just had like my eyes closed just because of the pressure and the pain so um yeah i didn't really look she did show me afterwards but basically once it's over the pain goes away like super fast and um i just sat up and she showed me the pictures and told me that everything looks normal which i was super grateful and happy about um because of course i did not want any like negative results so she explained to me that everything looked normal and then they provided me like a liner to put on so that way um in case anything like liquid comes out um it can go on the liner and that was pretty much it i got dressed and i relaxed there for about 15 minutes just to make sure that everything was okay like i was feeling fine and i was so i would say on like from scale of like one to ten on the pain i would probably give it about like a good like seven and a half some of you guys might have a higher pain tolerance which you guys may not think that it's that bad and some of you guys have a zero pain tolerance and think maybe um it's worse but really you guys it goes by so fast and it wasn't really as bad as i thought it was gonna be i thought i was gonna be like crying and shit like excuse my language but i thought i was gonna be like crying and just hysterical because sometimes i could be like that and it really sucked because i really really wanted alex to be there just for the support and originally he was going to be there my appointment was actually for wednesday today's tuesday so it was actually for tomorrow and then they called me to reschedule it for today because i guess the doctor wasn't going to be in so there's no way alex was able to get today off because he got tomorrow wednesday off but that's okay they were super super supportive and talked me through everything and just really really made me feel at ease and the big machine was just the x-ray machine that's all it was they just like put it over your stomach area like your uterus area and um yeah so that was pretty much it it was really fast and if you are going to be getting this procedure done um i highly highly do recommend you take the ibuprofen i think that helped out a lot and after your procedure if you're still cramping you can take the ibuprofen i think again like after eight hours or so but um for me the cramps went away completely and i was fine but if you are going to be doing this i would just say stay calm mm -hmm. and sorry someone, sorry i would just say stay calm and relax and everything's going to be okay it really was not as bad as i thought it was going to be some people say that it hurts so bad or it's gross or stuff like that and really you guys it's really not um so yeah i hope this video helped somebody out um just know that 
like I said, everything is going to be okay. And as much as I'm grateful for the results coming back normal, I'm also a little bit not sad, not upset, but I'm a little bit irritated because again, I'm not getting answers. And the doctor kind of said that she thinks maybe I have PCOS. And that's something I'm going to bring up to my OB, but I almost feel like they tested me for that already. And I, I don't know, but I'm going to bring that up and I'm going to be making a follow-up appointment with my OB coming up. And we're going to see what steps to take next maybe it's bad timing maybe i i don't know what it is but with my regular cycle i know that there's something in me that's not right she also told me that 20 percent of women that get this test done end up pregnant like pretty fast within that cycle or the next cycle she said she gets like two patients a month that end up pregnant after the test so I hope I'm in that 20%, but I, of course, I'm not going to get my hopes up. Um, so yeah, I just want to thank you guys so much for being so supportive and all the positive comments you guys send me. That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and being here. And if you are new, I hope you consider subscribing and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. 